Hi, I'm Eliana Abraham from Dallas NCSY, and this is this week's 92nd of our Torah. This week's Parsha is Parshat Mishpatim. As the title suggests, the Parsha is filled with laws from Hashem to B'nai Israel. I would like to talk about the last parak of the Parsha, which deals with the responses to all of these laws. At the beginning of the parak, Hashem tells Moshe that he, Aaron, Nadav, Avihu, and the 70 elders of Israel should all, Allah El Hashem, go up to God. How do they do that? By Vihishachavitem Mayrachok by bowing down from afar. Although this is not a do or do not type of command, it does teach us something about our own davening. We bow down during our Shemona Esrei, so the first part of the phrase, Vishachavitem, and bow down, applies to us. The second part, Merachok, from afar, is also extremely relevant. We right now are in exile. We're far from Hashem. We do not have the Beit HaMikdash to go up to any time we want. Nevertheless, we still communicate to Hashem by bowing down from afar, by praying. Later in the parak, B'nai Israel has a crucial response to Moshe's reading of the Sefer Habri, the Book of the Covenant. They say, Na'ase v'nishma, we will do and we will hear. Why the two actions? Don't they mean the same thing? My interpretation is by saying Na'ase, the Jewish nation is committing to just follow, following the mitzvot, doing them. The nishma part, however, is saying that they are committing themselves to learning, understanding, and being convinced of the reasons behind the mishpatim, behind the mitzvot. Doing a mitzvah, especially praying, especially bowing down to Hashem, becomes more influential if you really tune into what you're doing and wholeheartedly believe in what you're doing. Thank you and Shabbat Shalom.